Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you all are okay, so we can begin with the day of the third. So I hope you were able to read the blog today. Today's post was about silence and sound. So according to silence and, and sound, uh, I was thinking, just thinking if it would be nice to just make one hour of silence right now, but um, I didn't shut up the whole day, so I guess I will speak. So to begin with this concept, we have to remember that we have spoken about uh, certain things related to this polarity, which is like everything and nothing, the whole and the void. We have been uh, speaking a lot about this because we are in the month of polarities. What we are here doing is trying to understand the both sides of what we are trying to to put together to understand. So we usually take these concepts like uh, opposites to each other, like the whole and the nothing. But we spoke in previous videos how the everything was born through the nothing. So according to this, um, they are not opposite, they are complementary. But also, this would mean that if the universe for us is a vibration, so is sound, the vibration, the sound, should come from the silence. So how is it possible that something that we call sound, that we, that vibrates, came from something that doesn't exist, which is the silence? The first thing that we have to acknowledge about what we were saying all this time is not that the things just appear from nothing because we have this simple way of thinking this simple way of looking into life like if there is an origin and there's an end that something begins and something ends like in our life it's, it's normal for us because of course we have we live in that way but it's not real it's just a concept for the universe nothing really ends everything is a constant so this means that when we said the everything was born through nothing is not that nothing was the very beginning of everything it means that nothing and everything is kind of like what we call die and rebirth being born die and rebirth so it's a constant that never ends so we would say that the nothing gives birth to the everything and then <clears throat> the everything dies and rebirth again in nothing so it's nothing everything nothing everything nothing everything constant as we also are doing here in the matter this is why we shouldn't uh, think about the universe as the beginning and the end of things we have to think about the universe as a constant as something that is constantly happen happening all the time so of course that for us to say that there was an, or, uh, an origin of everything is something that makes us more relaxed. But what really happens is that the universe never really begins. The universe is constant all the time. We have spoken about this in another video, I don't remember which one, um, but um, that we as humans, we have the need of finding an origin and an end of something because we have been living through that by being born as an origin and by death as as the end of it but for the universe being born and being dead is just die is just a transformation of the being of the self it's not it's not different things so if we recognize that the everything we, we can recognize uh, from this that the everything is basically vibration. Everything exists because of vibration. So the everything basically is different vibrations. That's all that exists. That's all what it is. So vibrations are the ones creating the existence that we can feel, that we can perceive. So the attribute of vibration, we may call it sound. But it's not this sound. It's not the sound that you hear, the voice. No. Vibration is this, something vibrating, moving constantly. Sound would, would be the attribute of vibration. 
So two things that vibrate, when they attract to each other, they create a sound. So sound is not the vibration itself. Sound is the attribute of the things that vibrate. So it's the, the way in which you can perceive vibration. Like, uh, like when you have a thunderstorm, lightning, it's by positive and negative vibration that joins together and they create light and sound. So basically, what, how, how the vibration starts to create all the things. So the vibration starts to move by positive and negative in different frequencies. Remember that we have spoken about this in other videos, that, <coughs> that, that frequency is the expression of time of vibration. So it's like a storm in the sea, okay? So the sea is the vibration and the different waves of the storm are the frequencies. So the frequencies would be the time expression of the vibration that will generate many options of vibration that according to their resonance, sounding according and in harmony, according to their resonance, they will attach each other and create shapes and realities that we see now. So this is basically how the atoms will be creating those by jointing them through the vibration, through their charges of, of vibration. So this is why everything that exists is basically vibration, but from where this vibration comes from. So basically, this happens in this way. Imagine that the universe is like a very flat lake that you don't see any movement. So suddenly you decide to throw a rock and the rock starts to move the water. Okay. So this movement creates different frequencies, which are the waves. So these frequencies distortion the reality of the lake, creating patterns that you can see. Hmm? So this is how you could see how vibration starts to create the patterns of reality. Watching this image of the lake, what we can understand now is if we understand that the move of the water is the vibration creating frequencies in different levels of frequencies, and the patterns that of reality that you can see, all of that, when the water goes back to balance, no movement at all. So what happened with the vibration? Just disappear? What is really happening there? What we are going to acknowledge about this is that the lake, the water is the vibration. So the vibration doesn't disappear. The only thing that disappears is our ability to interpret the vibration, because the only thing that made us perceive, the only thing that made us perceive the, the existence, the vibration was frequency. So frequency is time. So without time, we cannot perceive reality. We don't exist. Any pattern exists. We are nothing. <clears throat> without the movement of time, the ripples of time, okay? Vibration is statics, and the statics is static means status, that means to be stable in one place in the same shape. So basically, um, what what this means is that silence is not opposite to sound. Silence is basically all the sounds, all the vibration, without any movement. Everything is there because it's water. Everything is there, but there's no time. There's no frequencies. So if, they, if you don't have frequency, if you don't have time, there's no way to perceive distance. There's no way to perceive the sound. There's no way to perceive reality, nothing. So what is basically sound? Sound is the attribute of vibration manifesting itself in different levels of frequency. That is silence then. So silence is all the vibration without expressing any attribute. When you make a sound, 
when you express a vibration, what you are doing is setting an intention. You are pushing your vibration towards a direction. What it does is to create a limit. It creates a pattern. So you are stuck in a pattern that you have expressed. So while you talk, while you create, the movement starts to create patterns around that will limit your expression. You will be able to create and, in the other hand, silence is the ability to perceive all the directions, to perceive the whole lake, everything, not just one goal, but all of them. So basically, this is why when we feel that there is too much, too many things inside of us, we say there is too many noise within me, too many noises. This doesn't sound good. And when we are trying to find all the answers within, what we do is to meditate in silence. So this is why we say you have to go and meditate within in silence and to find the vacuum, the void within in order to find the answers. And maybe you would say, but how is it possible that the void, the silence would have all the answers? And how is it possible that we have said when you reach the void, you feel uh, fulfilled, you feel uh, plenitude. How is it possible to feel plenty in the void? And basically the reason is because the void is the biggest everything that you could possibly imagine, but that doesn't express its attributes yet. That's what happened. The void and the silence is the everything that hasn't been expressed in attributes yet. This is why we have said in other moments the importance of listening and the importance of silence when someone is speaking. Not because only for respect, but also for meditation. Because when you are silent and you practice to listen to the other, what you accomplish is to listen to yourself, to be able to listen to the truth and the answers that you have within that usually you, you don't hear because you talk too much. So they are silenced by the ego. So basically we, we can understand that sound, all the sounds that we do, all the chantings, everything, is the expression, the experimentation, the manifestation of the patterns that are creating and transforming our realities. And silence is a tool that allow us to that allow us to, to assimilate that information, to, to integrate that experience, to bring awareness to what we have created. So this is how we really work, like a, like a song. Reality is like a song, where the silence in the song are more, even much more important than the sound itself, because the spaces and, and silence between the notes, between each part, the pauses that you have between the moments of tension and moments of resolution of the song are the ones that make the song so important because they are the, the moments that you can assimilate the sound. During the whole song, your brain is trying to understand when it's going to be the tension, how it's going to be the resolution. Even if, if you are not thinking precisely about that, your brain is doing it. It's constantly trying to match and to understand the pattern of the song. And in the silence of the end of the song, the brain relaxed and understood everything. This is why the silence is the one that helps the being to assimilate all the information, all the data. This is how the silence becomes the inner catalyst of all the information. So remember that everything that you call sound in the outside is not something coming to you by sound is basically the interpretation of your brain through the vibration of your inner ear. So this is basically why the sound is a tool to transform, to create, to manifest. And silence is a tool to assimilate, to integrate, to be aware. The vibration for today is SHE. The statement for today is I am coherent 
evolution. The code for today is undected, that is a group of 11. When the ability of being the divine is reached, the creator is acknowledged and is observed as created. Imagine then a cell that projects all its potential, generating a new one, mitosis. The division process of a cell, of a sphere into an identical one, a mirror where it can contemplate, project, see, feel, live, share, God and goddess, pattern and matrix. So, I had one, one year just like, I can hear anything. <laughs> So when so let's go to the alignment. So there were some people doing some questions about uh, some things that I had already explained in some other videos. So my advice uh, is or homework maybe is for you to read it to read or to listen to the 80 videos that we did before for so so I don't know if you are gonna do it. To catch it up, but um, no, you can you can do it whenever you want. Um, there's no rush, but just letting you know that that information is in other videos. So that's why I'm not answering them. Otherwise, I won't finish. Start to stretch the body, sitting properly, sitting comfortable. Sorry, with your legs straight. Start to yawn to massage. start to let all the weight of my body fall down, relaxing and focusing only in your breathing. Begin to move my toes, the foot, paying attention to the left foot, start to move the foot and your ankle in circles, very soft paying attention to each movement. I bring my attention to the left knee, paying attention to each one of the movements. And I go up, paying attention to keep by the left side and I start to move the leg by the hip to one side to another I go up stretching pulling the body towards the left feeling the pressure on the waist and coming back to the center start to bring the movement to the fingers of my left hand, hand and doing circles by the wrist. A 
I go up, paying attention to the movement of my elbow. And I go up to the left shoulder, moving it in circles. Very softly, I bring this movement to my head, doing circles towards the left by the neck. And very softly, I start to move the head towards the other side, to the right. I descend my attention to my right shoulder, moving it, moving it in circles, very soft. I start to move in circles, the elbow, la muñeca derecha, mano y dedos. I start to move in circles, the right hand, wrist and fingers. <clears throat> I start to pull my body towards the right, feeling the pressure in the waist. And I start to descend by doing circles with the right hip, moving the leg right, left, up and down. And I descend, moving moving the right knee paying attention to the movement and I descend moving in circles my right ankle foot and toes take a deep breath and relax feeling each one of your joints Take breath. With my two hands, fingers of the heart and the ones you used to point, You start to caress, massage all your throat and neck from the front, beginning by the jaw, going down, to the clavicles, by the sides of your throat doing very soft movements up and down, down and up. A sigh, do the massage. I perceive the light and consciousness of the I am starting to go within my body. Take a deep breath and proceed coming down through the crown, the third eye, and anchoring in the throat, near vocal cords, in the thyroid. As I do the massage, 
I start to pronounce the sound, taking a deep breath and bringing the sound towards the mouth by caressing and massaging the throat from down up. to perceive, to feel the chords vibrating. to go down through each one of the joints of my body so I go with it by caressing massaging each one of the parts of my body Thank you everyone for being there and remember to drink a lot of water and rest to assimilate information. So remember the importance of listening and the silence. See you tomorrow for the heart and the time. Bye.